What do you think it smells like? It smells like ass. I was gonna say a strip club right before close, but I guess it's the same thing. It's a little stinky in there, isn't it? Put the place up. Yeah, we know what we made of. Can't get enough for you, boo. I'm a chaser. Face up. Now I feel a little major. What's up, guys? Steve Conroy with Lug Away Junk Removal and Demolition. Happy Thursday, 6.38. On my way to the shop. Ready to bang out the day. I wake up. Rain. Now, the rain is particularly controversial, I should say, for the job we're doing today because we're supposed to be removing fish tanks from an outdoor fish tank fishery. My assumption is that they're all going to be filled with water because it poured all night. I knew three of them were filled with water. We were going to have to drain them, but I believe all of them now, of the six that are there, they're all going to be filled with water. Let me back up for a minute. Our day today will be demoing all these fish tanks, removing some stuff inside the fish tank store. There's some stuff up top. Might have been someone sleeping up there. I don't know what's going on with it. Very nice older couple that owns the building reached out to us through the internet. They used our request form, said, oh, you had a bunch of great reviews. We want to use you. So I went over there, I provided them with quote and they said let's get the job done i had them reach out to the cities see if the city wanted us to drain it specifically with the pump and you know get it off on a certain side of the sidewalk they didn't care they said if we want to drain it we can bust a hole in them get the water out that way if we did want to use a, a pump just make sure the hose is not going across the sidewalk for safety purposes we're just going to bust a hole in it after we fill up one truckload of junk so that it's draining while we're leaving i think this water is going to smell pretty bad what else is on the docket for the day we have some yard waste to pick up construction debris bags some stuff to pick up off the front yard of someone's property and need them repeat customer sweet old lady little wrench in the day though we've cleaned out of forever 21 yesterday three hours i had the hazards on I could have sworn I've had these hazards on for that long and nothing was an issue. Battery dies. Guess who doesn't have jumper cables? This guy. Guess who calls a tow truck company and says it's going to take an hour or two to get out there? This guy. Guess who's got a buddy that lives in the same town as that Forever 21 who happened to be working from home who had jumper cables, who had time to get to us? This guy. Shout out to James Salamini good looks on that kids save the day we're taking the dump truck to get an inspection sticker because it needs it anyways but i'm gonna have him take a look at the battery i don't think anything's wrong with it i just got four new tires on the bad boy for the cool price of 1500 bucks and by four i mean six because it's a dually i'm an idiot budget for those tires two front ones were kind of balding i knew the inspection was coming up so i got those put on how are we going to do the day we're going to do the day in the trailer how are we getting the truck to the inspection facility aka center automotive in needham i found a driver i found a driver I found a driver. Very excited about it. It is day four for him. He worked a couple days last week. Maybe five, I don't know. Got behind the wheel, no issues. Knows how to back the thing up. Driven some trucks before, nothing this large. Very adaptive to what I have going on. Seems like a kid that's really eager to learn and it seems like I found someone that I was looking for after I don't even know how many people I interviewed and how many people I even talked to on the phone, set up an interview and no one even showed up. I'm happy he's part of the squad. It's just gonna be me and him. It's been me and him all week. I scheduled accordingly so that I could train him basically back to three guys next week we're gonna get the tools ready we're gonna swap the tools out of the toolbox into my truck we still have the trailer full that we offloaded into i'm gonna follow him drop the truck off he's gonna hop in my whip we'll go to the dump dump this head over to job numero uno aka the fish tank fishery we'll take it from there this is the fishery job got a bunch of loose stuff in here Cutting this stuff up off the wall. Guy unfortunately went under in COVID. Couldn't keep the business afloat. So we're gonna clear all this out. Some stuff back there. I'll show you these tanks. 
So this guy hand built all these tanks. Has a whole drainage system in here. Pretty unreal. So my fear, which is what happens, is that it's been raining the last handful of days. So these puppies are pretty full. Let's see how full they are. It's like a foot, maybe a little less, probably a little less. Cloudy judgment, cloudy water. Um, but these these pools are uh, 12 by six, I believe, when I measured them. But yeah, this guy's got the drainage system galore over here. Try not to break my back. So we'll have to chop this up. I want everything gone as if it never happened. So, let me just show you this. You guys are hungry. So we got this space in here. He built this whole shed himself. Sucks, man. It's too bad. We're gonna clear this out. Um, landlord wants to keep that. He's got a carpenter coming in here. He's gonna use it as a shop. Stuff in the back here, stuff under the stairs. Let me go up here to the Holiday Inn Express. And we'll just take this, take all this stuff, mattress box spring back there in case someone needs to get a little comfy. And that's it. So we're over in Watertown right now. Like I said, I got this job from, um, from uh, online Google ads, she saw all the reviews and she liked what we were doing. So we're gonna tackle the inside first. Our goal is going to be to clear up this whole area before we start touching anything. But we're gonna work on the inside first. Uh, we got a good portion of the day here today. Um, and if we don't finish today, they understand that we'll come back and finish up next week. So follow along. This joint cleaned out. Nice, nice. John's sweeping the carpet because you know that's what you do in junk removal. You sweep carpets. Yeah. <laughs> All right. So I'll show you the truck here. Saving these for last. We're gonna put them uh, particle board up so the screws aren't, um, you know, jamming into the tarp. But this is the truck or the trailer, I should say. Not much stuff. We get to break everything down and make it fit. It's not even a half load yet, so we're gonna start uh, grabbing some of the stuff up top where someone was potentially sleeping. Uh, see what the truck looks like before we start demoing that stuff in the back. All right, guys, cleared out up here. Nice, nice for the boys. Close her up. We grabbed some stuff in here. The stuff behind me still exists. So these pawns. And I'm calling them ponds because we don't really know what to call them because they're really not fish tanks. They're just holding disgusting, smelly water. We cleared this area a little bit. All the loose stuff, metal and a mattress. We've left our stuff in there and closed up shop. And this is the end result here. So that's what we got going on right now. Inspection guy said we gotta come pick up the truck. We're gonna load this up, tarp it, bungee down the sides, make sure nothing's gonna fall out. Um, go pick up the truck and we'll be rolling two trucks today. All right, just picked up the fresh inspected. Now we're gonna head off to job numero dos. Numero one is on pause. Get some stuff off this lady's front yard because she wants it gone sooner than later. Then we're gonna stop by the contractor spot in Newton, grab those contractor bags. Then we're going to go back to job numero uno. Obviously, we're gonna need to calculate how much space we have in our vehicle, in our truck, trailer, whatever, before we start in um, on the second truckload of that first job. 
uh, so they don't get charged for a full load when it's not actually a full load. Honesty, honesty. All right, guys, we are back at job numero uno. We put those two smaller jobs in here already. Contractor bags on top of some other junk. I think this lens is a little fogged up. I don't know if that's any better. Um, so game plan is to clear out the rest of this room over here. Get some stuff coming out the back. Clear this out so everything is done besides this area. We're going to start with this one because it's the only one that's empty and then we're gonna bust holes in these we can probably take that one today just follow along it's a work in progress come on Back room cleared out, show and tell moment. I think we're supposed to take this, but I couldn't remember. And the older lady who I'm in touch with <clears throat> doesn't have a cell phone, home line only, business cash. So we're coming back either way. Um, and we're gonna get started on this bad Hector over here. There you have it, folks. What do you think it smells like? It smells like an ass. I was gonna say a strip club right before close, but I guess it's the same thing. Yeah, I remember that one time in Miami. All right, so the game plan is to contact them about this fence, which they said they wanted us to take down eventually. This thing, uh, this thing's wobbly. This thing's been out, you know, it's probably at that same strip club this thing's been hanging out at, so. And that thing's got to go. Um, so the game plan for this is probably to drill a hole through there. This guy made this pretty level. But we want to drill these holes uh, in this stuff and then leave. And we're not going to come back till next week. So the stench will hopefully be gone. I'm not 100% sure if that's going to happen. Um, yeah, what he said. <laughs> day is done here sweeping up before we pack this up is not my only job because I know you guys always keep seeing me sweep <laughs> we got the metal in here we got to throw a mattress in she's sky high keeping it cool while keeping it safe we'll tarp her down um, so we're gonna pack everything up and uh, Oh, I can't even think right now. Yeah, pack everything up so that everything's off the ground. We're gonna bust holes in these and then uh, see what it looks like next weekend. I'll check it over the weekend, but it's gonna pour tomorrow also. So I don't know, maybe it'll wash all the gunk out. It's only coming out from over the top, though. 
tough to film the end of the day. We were rushing to get it done. But we are here. Day's end. Yes! <laughs> With a truckload of yard waste. Truckload of thorns, yeah. Caught me, cut me down in my prime. Cut me down in my prime. So he's dealing with stupid people on the road and also at the dump. And that's it for us.